Hey guys, it's Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, and in today's video, we're going to talk about just how many devices or IP phones can you put on a single extension on Voice over IP. But before we get into that, remember, you're watching the number one channel on all things business phone systems and business internet related, so be sure to hit that subscribe button right now so that you don't miss any of our content and so that you get notified when we release new videos, which is every single week. So, how many devices can you connect to a single extension in Voice over IP? Depends on the service provider. For example, Vonage allows up to three IP phones, also called devices, as you already heard me mention. Nextiva allows up to five IP phones, and Ring Central allows, I want to say, up to six IP phones. Really, at the end of the day, it depends on the service provider. But the first question begs, why would you want to have multiple devices on a single extension? Some people might want to have it to be able to use a phone or to use multiple phones in one location, like an office or a home office. For example, I used to have, back in the day when I had an office a long time ago, in a previous life, I actually had a Cisco IP phone on my desk in the office, and I had a Linksys IP phone on the desk in my home office. If somebody, called one of my, if somebody called my extension or one of my team members transferred an extension to me, it would ring both of those phones. I would also be able to check the voicemail on, each or, on one or the other phone no matter where I was and the voicemail was the same and so was the voicemail settings or even the away or the vacation message. Another reason that somebody may want to use it is for ease of mobility. I've worked with plenty of customers that you know have a vacation home here a home office there, a physical office here, and they want to be able to just be able to make calls, receive calls, transfer calls, and have some sense of, you know, some sense of like normality across their entire extension, no matter where they are. Another reason that I've seen a lot of people that would use a, a different device or a different IP phone on the same extension is to test a new IP phone. Couple of examples for you. At the time of this video, I'm actually currently using a Yealink T48S on my extension, but as a second device connected to that extension, I also have a Polycom CCX600, which I'm actually using and testing alongside my Yealink that works perfectly so that I can do a solid review for you guys on my experience with the Polycom CCX600. Second story in that regard on the flip side is I've worked with many IT directors that if they want to try out a new phone with an existing service provider they've got like a Nextiva or a Ring Central or a Vonage or TalkDesk or whatever it may be, they will purchase the new phone that they want to roll out for administration or roll out for the entire office, set that up as a separate device on their extension so that they can test it for a week or a month or whatever it may be so that they know it works well on the network and has all the features they require before they roll it out to everybody else while at the same time still having their normal day-to-day -day use phone connected to that extension so that they can still take calls, conduct business, and not have any issues or anything like that. Another reason why somebody might actually use another device on, a same, on the same extension is to create sort of a pseudo ring group. You're probably wondering, what am I talking about? I'll explain. Once I actually worked with a doctor's office that had two receptionists, um, both of them sat at a very large table, so they worked next to each other. Both of them had two separate computers, two separate phones, except the two separate phones were attached to the same extension and they were connected to the option one in the auto attendant that basically said for front desk administration or billing, press one. This way, both of those phones rang at the exact same time and either or receptionist could decide if he or she wanted to answer those calls. This also means that both of those phones shared the same voicemail and also had the same, you know, voicemail light indicator and things like that. Here's some things I want to talk to you guys about in regards to just things to be aware of when deciding to use multiple devices or multiple IP phones on the same extension. First of all, it's not a good cost savings tactic for people who really need their own extension. I know some of you are watching this and you're thinking, you know what, oh, well, I was thinking, you know, I've got four people in the office or five people in the office. We could just get one extension and pay $19.99 or $24.99 a month and nobody else need their own extension. Wrong. While I've seen this done in very rare situations, there are a lot of reasons you would not want to do this. First of all, in a perfect world, 
Everybody needs their own extension number so that calls can be transferred to them so that they can have a dial by name, you know, in the directory and things like that. That is not possible if everyone is sharing the same extension. Um, point number two, each extension will literally share or each device would literally share the same voicemail. So there would be no personalization on voicemail for those different people. Like, thank you for calling, you know, Sarah's extension, I'm out. Thank you for calling Sunita's extension. Uh, I'll call you back later, please leave a message. Thank you for calling Prince Rich's extension. I'm on vacation, blah, blah, blah. Everybody would be using the same single extension, I mean the same single voicemail associated with the extension that everybody is kind of co-sharing and it just doesn't work. It makes to be a messy setup and it actually looks a heck of a lot more unprofessional than you know in, in trying to save a little bit of money. Another thing is, is it makes putting each user into the virtual receptionist very difficult. As I already mentioned, dial by name would be out of the window because if you've got five different users using the same extension, you can't classify or divide them so that they have their own separate dial by name to be routed correctly. The other issue that you would have is that you wouldn't be able to set up and route calls to a specific person if a group of people is using the same extension. It would essentially defeat the purpose of a virtual receptionist. Um, last but not least, transferring calls would be practically a nightmare um, or almost non-existent because typically when you transfer a call, you are transferring it to a unique extension number which corresponds to a person's name. For example, one of my employees, Sunita Allister, her extension is extension 403. My extension is extension 402. If somebody tried to send a, a, you know, a call to extension 402 that comes to me, 403 goes to her. If her and I are sharing the same extension just to save a buck, it would mean that if somebody transferred a call to my extension number, it's going to ring both of us. And that kind of defeats not only the ability to be able to transfer a call to a specific person for business reasons, but also a little bit of conf confidentiality is broken there or kind of left lacking for if you're needing to transfer a call or call a specific person for a specific reason that may be confidential or private. Another thing, I know I said the last one was the last point, but actually there's another one, which is actually probably the most important one that I need to mention. One of the things that I wanna throw out there is while most service providers will absolutely let you have more than one device on a single extension, some of them have restrictions placed on their service that prevents you from making simultaneous calls on, a same, on the same extension from multiple devices. What does this mean? Let's go back to the me and Sunita Allister example. Let's say that I'm on the phone and I'm using the same extension as Sunita and she wants to pick up and use the phone. Not all service providers do this, but some do. When you go to try to make a simultaneous call on another device that's sharing the same extension number, a lot of providers will block that and prohibit that and something will literally pop up and say, will literally pop in your ear and say something to the effect of, you know, your call cannot be completed as dialed because the system detects that there is another device in use on this extension. Now, not all service providers will do this, but some do because they know that a lot of people trying to use multiple devices on the same extension is a way to effectively cheat their pricing model, whereas they typically charge per month per extension. So anyways, in summary, use correctly. This can be a convenient feature for answering calls from different locations and also testing new IP phones before you disconnect your existing phone. Um, be sure to verify with your service provider what is the maximum number of IP phones or devices allowed with their service. Another thing I wanted to throw out there before we wrap up is mobile app and desktop app is usually not considered one of the you know, maximum allowed devices allotment. Even though in their system they consider it a device, the mobile app and the desktop app is classified as like its own separate like virtual devices. So for example, in the example of Vonage, Vonage allows up to three total hardware devices on a single extension plus the mobile and the desktop app. So that's five devices or five slots to connect to your extension with three of them being actual hardware. Anyways, if you found this video interesting or helpful, 
please go ahead and hit that like button. Also, as I mentioned earlier in the video, hit that subscribe button because we upload new content every single week and you are watching the number one YouTube channel on all things business phone system and business internet related tips, tricks, and just things you need to know about how service works. So hit that subscribe button and show us some love. As always, this is Prince Rich with Rich Technology Group, your go-to guy for the best deals on business phone and internet service in the United States. I'll catch you guys again in the next video.